Hey everyone, it's Mystery Star here, and I'm about to explain the motif of noting in Much Ado About Nothing. So the first thing to actually understand about this is that in Shakespearean times, the word nothing was pronounced like noting. It You didn't use the the sound, you just kind of brushed over the H. So noting and nothing were more, it was basically, it sounded the same, so you would just use it in context. But knowing that this is a comedy, the context is going to manipulate the word so that it's often a pun or a quibble. And if you don't remember what those um, comedic terms are, just head back to the beginning lessons from this particular unit. But uh, the first thing for us to look at, first of all, is that it is a motif. And if you guys remember, a motif is a reoccurring symbol in the play. So, or in, you know, in a work of literature. Well, the first obvious thing is the title. It's called Much Ado About Nothing. So if we just take that and look at it isolated, Much Ado About Nothing. So there's a whole big to-do about nothing. And, and that nothing could be multiple things, like that there was actually not a big deal at all, or like there there is no reason for people to um, make such a big deal, or you know there was nothing that was a big deal to begin with, or something was already established, so it's not a big deal. But much ado about nothing. That's an important thing to first um, understand. But then also, don't forget the fact that nothing is noting, much ado about noting. So the noting part, this is where the pun comes in, noting as in taking note of someone's behavior. Like, oh, I was sitting in class and, you know, uh, I took note that the girl in front of me um, seemed really tired today. Like, that's just taking note of somebody's behavior. Or, you know, um, I, I took note that Ms. Fusaro dressed really nice today. I wonder what's going on. That's taking note, okay? That's taking note in, in lamentally, like when you, you're using just your mind to kind of notice something. So think of it that way. So notice, okay? Then there's noting as in writing things down. So let's not forget that in this universe, and really even still now, anything that's written down is official. That's why even even today, contracts are written down. People say put it in an email to make it official because once something is written down, there's a superiority and official and, and aspect to it. And it's also um, kind of like a permanent. So once something is noted in writing, then there's it's like established. So there's that noting also. And then a fourth noting, <clears throat> excuse me, and that is the in also in Shakespeare's time, it was a slang word, nothing for women's parts. Okay, like it was slang to represent a you know a lady's parts. So it has four different meanings here. So if we're looking at the title, just the title alone, never mind all the times it's gonna be actually used in the play, but much ado about nothing, as in like there was no big deal, much ado about noting, as in hmm. I took note of this person's behavior. Hmm, I took note of that person's actions. Much ado about noting as in what was official and written down, what's actually established, and much ado about nothing as in ladies' parts. Yes, it means all of those things. So that's what part of what the comedy is, is understanding that it's all this big much ado about all these things. And the irony of the nothing is that it's so many different actual somethings. All right, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. I'm happy to explain it a little bit further. Kfusaropizzo at schools.nyc.gov. Thank you so much.